manga and anime. One I'm a fan of, the other one, eh, not so much. Can you guess which one it is? Yes, it's anime. Didn't even let you guess. It's, I just sprung right out there. Um, manga, I do like comics, but I don't know. I'm just not big into Japanese comics. Um, I do find they tend to, seeing as how if it's popular in manga, it's going to get translated to a um, anime almost definitely, and the anime almost always has more information going on um, in it than really, you know, the, the manga can do on the printed page. It's not like a book and being, you know, told via movie form where they have to cut things out and not everything maybe the way it seems. I mean, they can copy the character designs and everything else essentially exactly the same. So, when it comes to that, anime is my preferred choice. But, what happens when you take a manga and turn it into a live-action film? Yes, manga and anime turn live-action equals something else completely. Which brings me to Gintama. Yes, this is Gintama from Welgo. And uh, I will say that if you had asked me, say, 10, maybe 15, 15 years ago, if anime or manga would translate, or even comics in general would translate well to um, the big screen, I would say, ooh, it depends. If done right, yes, but usually it's not. Nowadays, even if you do it poorly, you still get something pretty decent because technology has advanced so far. So when it comes to things like this, eh, they're often kind of quirky and campy and such, but still kind of fun. I have no idea what this manga is about. I have no idea what this movie is about, but I'm going to unbox it to see what's going on inside. Yes, that was a little bit of a long introduction, but such is life. So let's get this plastic off here. Try to at least. Get the plastic go. Get the plastic go. Plastic does not want to come off. Alright, time for a knife. Part of the problem is I cut my nails, so I don't have anything to really slice in with. Normally I have one or two nails that I keep around just for this purpose. Yeah, I know it's weird to keep one or two just slightly long while well, the other ones grow out, and then you cut those ones, and, you know. It's kind of a rotating thing. It'll be in either one of these hands. But, uh, yeah, here we go. So we got a slip cover here. We got slip cover, regular cover. Essentially the same. Um, the only difference is the Blu-ray portion here and Gintama. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're kind of glossy. The rest is all matte. Uh, and then we go... There's a the slip, there's the regular. Yeah, essentially the exact same thing, except in this case, this strip here of like movie still images, that's the glossy part. The rest is matte. But otherwise the images and all that kind of stuff is identical. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, let's get on inside. So we open it up, and it does have one of these anti-theft things, but they didn't use it. Why? I don't know. But we do have an inner insert here, which includes some advertisements for other Welgo releases. The Villainous Better Watch Out and Wolf Warrior 2. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff on this side. God of War, Great... Oh, Greater, I haven't seen that. Kung Fu Yoga, Phantasm, and Mine. Yeah, so some stuff there and that's all for the Hiya channel oh interesting this is very very different artwork here so this is a blu-ray dvd combo yeah the very 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 different dvd over here gets the cool stylish anime like picture clearly says gintama dvd is a little small but you can't see it and over here we get the blu-ray which is pink and has a cartoon Chicken? I, I don't know. 
Um, but it does give you the title and does say Blu-ray. This is a little bit easier to read, but yeah, yeah. Who would have thought, eh? Um, odd. Blu-ray's pressed. There is no artwork, but you can see that this is one of those Eco Light cases um, where they don't remove all of the plastic, but they do remove some of it to, you know, save on costs, save on packaging, all that kind of stuff, save on plastic use, essentially. So I love that because it still maintains the protection needed to protect the discs inside, unlike Eco Case, which simply you can poke your fingers right through the front or back without ever opening them. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Gintama on Blu-ray from Wellgo USA. Unbox, you know what's going on inside. Comment down below if you've seen the film. Keep it spoiler-free. As always, not everybody has, including myself, and we don't want to ruin it for them, so we keep it spoiler-free. Thanks for watching. Until next video, take care. Have a good one.